Okay, so where are we? What is this one? We could go there. Do we have anything here that we can do? Where does this one take us to? Be a doctor. A doctor. <laughs> Mothers, am I right? Over here. Okay, cool. The trackers alliance always finds their mark. I'm sure they do. But unfortunately I have to take on or go to a job hub, which I don't really need right now. Because I have plenty of other missions to do. I'd be making a fortune if they let us fish for cousin bass. Eh, I'd rather not, honestly. Not worth it. If Not I worth it for... for Alright. I want to try to finish the missions I have here in this video. Actually, how many more do I have, I wonder? Uh, I have a lot more, actually. Okay, never mind. Then we're going to be doing a lot more stuff here. That's fine. I don't mind. Whatever. It is what it is. I could try... Lee, did that crate from our distributor ever arrive? We're running low on some supplies. Yeah, and you're gonna love this. Hey there. Welcome to our world eats. Feel like taking your taste? Fantastic! I'm my husband Lee and I have spent years sourcing them. Mm -hmm. You can't find this stuff. Mm -hmm. Visitors enter. Mm -hmm. Turns out that our little niece has. Mm -hmm. To do that, we need to. Mm -hmm. That's how we're operating right now. It's terribly expensive. Ella Tora, you're not here to listen to my life story. You're here to eat. Well, let me stop talking so you can take a look at the me- Hmm? That would be so help. What I need are any sort of exotic organic ingredients harvested from creatures or plants. Hmm. It's actually simpler than it sounds. If you've never seen it before, and you aren't horrified to eat it, then bring it to us. If it's edible, I can make a dish out of it. Mm, okay. Excellent. Oh, there's one important thing you should keep in mind. Be careful when you're collecting. It's not worth getting hurt trying to harvest ingredients from a particularly hostile life form. Mmm. Wow. That's <laughs> rather pungent. Might make a good soup, though. Here's your payment, as promised. Looking Not forward worth to it. the next delivery. <coughs> Not worth it. Not worth doing. I don't want to give up stuff that I need for crafting. I, re I really don't. Just for a, s a few small... It's not worth it. Not my time. No, nope, not worth my time. It's nice to see a friendly face. Hello. I'm sorry if I sound rude, but would you mind coming back later? We're actually closed right now. I just forget to pull down the shutters. I'm afraid so, but I don't really want to talk about it right now. Perhaps another time. 
when I'm feeling up to it. Yes, yes, of course. <laughs> Please forgive. Aid, okay. <clears throat> uh, let's see here. I mean, sure, I'll buy that. I'll buy that, why not? It won't hurt. And then you have nothing else I want. Sure, okay, that's nice. Hello, I, we're actually close. Oh, you're so kind. I really appreciate what you're trying to, perhaps another. I'm afraid not, but come back tomorrow and perhaps I'll be strong enough to speak. Come back tomorrow. Okay. Don't mind if I sit here, do you ladies and gentlemen? And then we're just gonna do this, and then we're going to do... Uh, I need that. Eight local hours. She said to come back tomorrow, so that's what we're going to do. There was a way to change it so that it would. <clears throat> mm. Okay. I said I'd talk to you sometime to. Be careful. Neon is a dangerous place. Okay, we'll wait again, I guess, because it's not time yet. Another eight hours, I guess. Um, let's wait for more time to be safe. Play it for like six more hours just so I guarantee she's open. Count me out. Oh, it's an activity I can do. Okay, interesting. Oh, yes. Hello. Oh, there you are. I'm feeling a bit better today. Sorry about all that before. The thing is, well, I lost my husband, Thomas, last week. He... he supposedly had a heart attack and fell from the upper platform. Of course, that's the official word from Neon Security. I'm not so sure they're telling me the truth. No. They certainly aren't. How that security officer could stand there and tell me Thomas died of a heart attack. Well, it's a damn lie is what it is. I, I'm, I'm sorry, this is my problem. You're just here to shop and here I am filling your head with my conspiracy theories. Please forgive me. Oh my, you're the first person in this awful, awful city that's reached out to help me. Thank you. Mm-hmm. <coughs> yes, exactly. Oh, I'm so glad I'm not the only one who sees the problem. 
I suppose the proper place to start would be with Neon Security's witness, Tevin Anastas, that pompous ass over at the Emporium in Neon. Just please be very careful. I don't want to end up with two murders on my conscience. Yeah, they'll have to, you know. <clears throat> it was nice speaking to you. They'll have to go through hell and back in order to... <laughs> so I can apparently do another job for... Yeah. I can do another job for him now. So I guess that is a permanent thing now. Interesting. Oh, it doesn't wrap. So dumb. A game always needs menus that wrap. If you don't have that, then you know. <coughs> There's something wrong. I'm just taking out the obvious. I appreciate everything you've done for me. I'm not telling you a thing. I've already reported what I saw to security. Stop wasting my time and leave. Your presence is bad for business. Please visit us again if you're in the market. Okay. For a luxury item. Thank you for taking care. I'm not telling you. Stop wasting. There's nothing to tell you. Get it through your skull. Mm. If it's yeah. not a big deal, then why are you bothering me about it? Civic. Mm. <sighs> I know what you're playing at. Don't patronize me. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'd rather not pay a thousand credits again. Please visit us again if you're. What's up? Yes. Can I? I'm not telling. Stop wasting my time. Yep. There's nothing to tell you. <clears throat> I suppose I understand. Hmm. 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 There we go. Listen, Got it. I don't nice. want anything bad to happen. Oh my god, enough! I'll tell you what I know, if it'll get you to leave. <sighs> I saw it happen. Thomas was murdered and thrown into the ocean. Figured. Afterwards, I foolishly reported the incident to security. For my efforts, I was rewarded with a gun to my head and threatened with death if I didn't keep silent. It was hard to hear over the commotion, but I'm sure I heard Thomas call his attacker Russell and Rusty a few times. From what I could gather, the attacker was after credits and Thomas refused to give him any. After that, well, Thomas went for a swim. Mm. God, no. I've seen him around here and there, but if he ever were to come into my shop, I tell him to leave immediately. In fact, I would never even talk to someone like him. I have no business dealing with petty criminals or Aurora addicts. Where else would someone like him be, hmm? He stays at the sleep crates near Madame Sauvage's place. In any case, when you confront him, my name cannot be mentioned. I very much dislike sharing 
Thomas's briny feet. And with that, I must insist you leave me in peace. That is, of course, unless you'd like to make a hefty purchase. Mm-hmm. <coughs> I figured he was murdered, knowing the city. So let's go deal with this now, shall we? Hey, I want to ride. I want to ride. Bullsh, never in Hey, no. Hey. Hey. Stop it. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here, Demio. Come here, Demio. Come here. No. No. Damn it, you don't even exist, do you? You're not even there. a few credits my way, huh? Help a guy out, yeah? End up in the ocean? What the hell are you... Wait. No, no, no. He, he told me that everything was taken care of. No one would know. Listen, you gotta hear me out. I never meant to do anything. It was an accident. A friend. An old buddy in security. But that's all you're getting from me. I'd rather take my chances with you than with him. Why else? I needed some creds for Aurora, and everyone knows he and his wife run that shitty little shop. All they do is rip people off. He was bound to have creds. I got in a fight with Thomas. I asked him for some creds, but the bastard wouldn't give me anything. Things got out of hand. He ended up falling off the upper platform. It was an accident, I swear. Then I... I called my buddy in security and told him what happened. He took care of everything after that. Hell no, I'm not doing that. I'm, I'm a lot of things, but I'm not a rat. Listen, I messed up, I know that. But nothing can change what's already done. Just let me go and I'll disappear forever. No one will ever see me again. No one even needs to know I'm alive. Just, come on, just let me go. Okay. Oh my god. You don't <coughs> have to worry. No one will ever see me again. I, I swear it. Yeah, no, they won't ever again. No cops, I mean... Yeah. They're still screaming. They're still screaming down there. Thomas didn't. I just... I need to know the truth. Oh, everyone has problems with Neon security. They're terribly corrupt with Administrator Bayou using them as his own personal brute squad. They come in here from time to time, 
but apart from being forced to give them employee discounts, I've never had anything suspicious happen. Tevin owns the Emporium over in Bayou Plaza. He's a horribly overbearing, pretentious man who wouldn't dare set foot in the underbelly. The strange thing is, we've never had to deal with him in person. Why he'd be involved in Thomas's death is absolutely beyond me. They're Please, still screaming. Tell me everything you know. I want to hear it all. I knew it. I just knew that I was being fed lies. Nothing <coughs> added up right from the start. <sighs> Neon security. How can they sleep at night and act like my husband's life wasn't worth anything? My husband's killer. Did you find him? What happened to him? Oh, I killed him. Rusty. I believe he was one of the Jennerdine workers that would come around and cause trouble. Steal things, vandalize, or the like. They were a rowdy bunch. My husband usually handled the troublemakers and became well acquainted with Rusty and his so-called friends. Vandalism and shoplifting is one thing, but murder? I just never thought things could go this far. So, what did you do with Rusty? Oh, how I think of all criminals who are guilty of murder. Good. And good riddance to him, too. An eye for an eye and all that. I'm not the type to wish death upon anyone, but he deserved worse for what he did to my Thomas. And about security. Did you find out which officer is behind the cover-up? Yes, you're right. It just boils my blood thinking about what they did. But I must say that I feel oddly vindicated just by knowing the truth. The uncertainty was constantly eating away at me. At least I can take solace knowing that justice was served. At least to some degree. I never would have figured out the truth without you. I have credits for you here. Oh, you're so sweet. In any case, please know how grateful I am that you helped me. You're the only person to ever show kindness to me in this city. And now that I know the truth, I can try to focus on healing. Mm -hmm. Thank you for everything, from both myself and Thomas. You're welcome, ma'am. You're very welcome. Ask for another shift. I mean, I guess we couldn't see what happens. Let's see how it goes. Why not? situated in my chair here. We should go to the Astro Lounge later and blow off some steam. Yeah, you guys have fun with that. Alright. How are things going? Can oh, they're going great. I killed a man. You know, I killed a man named Rusty because, you know, he murdered someone else and then covered it up with the police. I mean, with the corrupt police because, you know. Cord, you are really pissing me off right now. Stop. Thank you. Please, 
I don't want you touching my hand. My, 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 my um, autism says no. Okay, you are really annoying me right now. If you stop. Ah, here for some blend? Can't blame you. Best drink in the set of systems. No, not today. Just picking up some beers. Oh, well, suit yourself. I was pulling on the- oh, okay, I see now. I was doing the wrong one, I see now. Ah, okay, yeah, well, that's fine, I guess, whatever then. Hi, the security. Vanguard, right? Hey, thanks for your You service. look like you could use a drink. Hell, we all could. Good, because I could always use more. Go work another shift at Xenofresh and meet with your contact. Then, bring me back that package. Now see how often this happens, I'm curious. Alright. <laughs> Underbelly. Alright, now we go back here. Damn it, cord, stop. Like, hmm, okay. Let me just like do that real quick. There we go. I went too far. I'm trying to fight my cords. Or my microphone wire. Well, it doesn't bother me whenever I'm playing games. So it's a hassle. I don't know why I have such a long wire, but I do. Yeah, it's always, it's always subpar. It's always subpar, no matter what. Yeah, so it's always subpar. But I mean, we made 1,200 credits. So I, I wonder if we can actually get a promotion here or not. Because I mean, Those damn like... Those get everywhere. Another day, another shift. Oh no, I happened to transmit some coordinates to you. My bad. I wonder what's over there. What are you talking about? Let's keep this relationship simple. I'm up for doing this again. Bye. Now can I do it again? What's over here? I'm curious. I've been working at Zeno for years and I've only seen Bayou visit the factory once. Oh, is this where they really, um, process it? Scram, I'm on duty. 
Binary of shift. Time to swing by Ragrans and get blended. Is this where they craft it and all that? Huh, I wonder if I work here long enough People if I'll joke. actually get to those Varun zealots worship a snake. do this or not. Can I do another one? No. Can I talk to the boss lady? If this isn't about cousin boss, I am not interested. Nope. I cannot talk to her at all. Interesting. We we'll go from here. What do you want? Nope. Huh. <clears throat> I wonder if you I wonder if you can actually get promoted or not. I'm hoping you can, because that would be amazing. Package and we take it to him, and then we get paid. Ranger. Then what I might do? Oh, it's the same location every time. Really? It's the same location every time. Okay, that's interesting. I wonder why they did that. I guess for convenience or... I don't know, weird. But if this gives me XP... Yeah. Good? Just another lousy. You keep this up and we will go. 100 XP for that. I mean. You're not from Insect. Huh? Ah, here for some blend? Can't right. blame you. So I, I wonder. Can we go back there? And do another shift. Or do we only have access to doing that when we have a quest for him? Whoa, the freaking brightness, what the hell? Or can we only do this when we have that quest? Hmm. Let's find out, I guess. Why not? No, they're gone. You can't work here, I don't think. No. Nope. Yeah, you can only do it when you have a job from him. Yeah, she's gone too. I'm no user, but I swear, working near Aurora? Yeah, so you can't work here when you don't have the quest. Okay. That makes sense, I guess. <clears throat> that makes sense, in a way, I guess. Um, let's see here.
Well, Hotel Volai is... I don't see the marker for it though. Whatever then, I guess we'll just... Yeah, I'll, I'll just go there myself then. I don't see the marker for core, but whatever. Today. Welcome to the Hotel Voli. Are you here to rent a room? I think you'll be pleasantly surprised that our luxury accommodations are more than reasonably priced. Oh, I'm pulling the right one. Okay, hold on. No catch. My hotel is completely free from administrative influence, so you can rest assured that you'll be actually getting the best value for your credits. Well, luck might have played a part, but it took a good deal of my own ingenuity as well. But that's a story for another time. So, can I book you a room for the night? Oh, how nice! His daughter must be feeling very generous to be sending him something like that. Mr. Ovadia is in his room on the third floor. I'll buzz him and let him know you're on your way. I can finally lose this wine. Oh my god. Oh my god. Let's make this quick. Uh. Of course it was. Ah, I should have not been so blind. You have no idea what you're doing. You need to tell me where she is this instant. My own daughter assaults me in my own home, steals my personal spacecraft, then runs off to who knows where. Now you think a friendly little chat is going to smooth it all over and make things better? How foolish do you think I am? Hmm. My daughter knows me well. Maybe she is serious about this. She would really put her own life at risk due to me. She puts me in a difficult position. She needs to face consequences. Yet, I do not wish her to die. Belinda. How oh, I miss her. No. You're right. She would be disgusted mm -hmm. with who I've become. I've... I've been dishonoring her memory with my actions. <coughs> I don't disagree with you. I suppose I've overreacted. She was young, and while foolish, she is still my daughter. And Rivka is all I have left of my wife. 
I would do her a disservice to incriminate her daughter like that. She told you about that. I'm not proud of it. I've wrestled with it ever since my wife died. I have been a terrible father. It will be up to Rivka how she wants me to make amends, and I will do whatever it takes. If she wants money, she'll get it. If she wants me to go to therapy, I will. Whatever it takes. I promise. Mm, this one. Yes. Tell her I will drop the charges immediately and call off the bounty hunters. And I suppose I will seek her out to talk. I may just need a little time to figure out how to say what I need to say. Thank you. Cool. So that one is now settled. All right, yeah, let's just turn it in then. Why not? Uh, we can't from here, can we? No, we cannot. Cool. Let's go turn it in now. We can finally leave Neon for a tiny little bit. What's that mission going? I'm curious. No, no. Deliver hygiene products. Yeah, I don't think those are worth it. Where's my shit? I don't see it. Whatever. No. Alright, let's go turn this in then. Why not? Oh my god, how bright is it? Holy crap, dude, the brightness. What the hell?
<laughs> I received an urgent message from my father. He's dropped the charges. It will still be difficult. There's a lot we need to speak about, but I think we may be able to mend our relationship, thanks to you. I doubt it will come to that, but yes. I now know I have a friend I can count on when I'm in trouble. Yes. It sounded sincere. I can tell. And if... I'm being truthful. I secretly hoped he would come to his senses. Of course, <laughs> we will be taking things slow. There is a lot of trust to rebuild. But he acknowledged and apologized for his past behavior. That is a good first step, and I'm willing to let him back into my life, bit by bit, as long as he proves his words and commits to change. Without your intervention, this would not have been possible. <coughs> and I can finally treat this. Thank you. I cannot repay you enough. Nice. All right. That's done. We got more monies. Not that we need the monies, but we got more monies. Let's see what kind of odd jobs there are here. Thank you for your daily contribution to our prosperity. Pirate Corsair, huh? Survey Tau City for 10,000. So we have to survey the entire planet. You know what? Now that's, um... Kill the pirate corsair. Yeah, no, we can't do that because we're part of their group. We cannot do that, unfortunately. <sighs> Very unfortunate, but we cannot do those missions. So what quests do we have now? Accept a cargo mission. Um, no thanks. Cargo running does not seem like fun in this game, I'm sorry. It really doesn't seem like fun at all. Um, uh, a dead spacer. I mean, can we go to Dinabola? Let's find out. Level 30. Probably not.
<laughs> Nicola, nice. Cricks. Schrodinger. I wonder if that's where Schrodinger's cat is. <laughs> Copernicus. Level 40. 40. Sparta. Oh, hey, we found Sparta. Bardeen. Newton. Bradbury. Andromis. Vega. God, there is so much out here. Alpha. What is this one? Damn, dude. <clears throat> huh. There are a lot of planets in this game. And it means a lot of quests to do as well, which is nice. We can go here now. Yeah, we can go there now actually and do some questing. We can also go there. Um, we can go to Altair. We have a quest for there, right? I think we do actually. Um, Yes, we do actually. Yeah, let's go here. We can now go to Altair. Let's go to a new system. Just gotta find it again, that's all. Oh, hey, Sirius. We can go to Sirius. Nice. Uh, Tau Seti, you know, I think. No, that's not it. That's not it. That's not it either. Uh, is it right here? No. Where was it? Right here. Let's go here. We don't need your help. Mineral deposit. Could I mine? I wonder if I can mine or not. Well, let's find out. Can I mine? Oh my god, you can. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. <laughs> you can mine in this. No way, dude. No way. I can blow up the big ones too? Dude, what? 
Okay, you know what? Screw mining on the surface. <laughs> oh, this this made the game so much better. Oh yeah. I mean, I don't really need iron. I need other stuff, but I mean, I got some iridium. Cool, dude. I mean, this is kind of worth doing for palladium. No way, dude. No. No. Cargo hold. Dude. Okay. Iridium. Okay. 34 iron. Okay. I can choose to. Oh, dude, I want to take those. Yeah, I want to. I want to take those. Um. Um. Heal gel. Battle stem. Uh, you know what? Yeah, I'll just. I'll, I'll just. I'll just do that because I don't. I don't. I don't need those. I don't need that either. Because it weighs me down. Honestly. So what else can I get rid of? I'll keep that. Eh. Eh. I don't need this. I don't need that. I don't do drugs. I don't do drugs. I'm sorry. I mean, I'll keep that. Actually, you know what? I'll take those. Yeah. And honestly, I might just jettison these because they weigh me down quite a bit. Bandages. Honestly, it doesn't matter. All of the stuff that weighs me down, besides what I actually need, I'll just get rid of because it weighs me down. Um, positron battery, and yeah, I need all of this. I don't really need all 26 of these, so I might get rid of like 10 of them. Yeah, I'll get rid of 10 of them, because that's 100 weight. Yeah, I'll get rid of like 10 of those. Now, is it in space, or is it like... Can I see it? Like... Mineral deposit. Hold on, can I see all of that stuff that I just got rid of? No, I can't. Okay, so it basically got rid of it. Fully got rid of it. Okay. That's fine. I don't mind. If I need more, I can get more. But I would rather have more room now that I know I can mine in space than not have room. I wonder if the rocks determine on what you get, like the shape of the rocks. Oh, how about this one right here? No. Okay, what about this one? No. No. So I guess you mostly get... Oh, what about that big boy? Oh, yeah. No way. I actually blew it up. <laughs> Wait, hold on, can I, can I hit you? 
Ah, oh, that one's gone. Dang it. Oh. What's in this? Seven iron from that, and that's all it was. Interesting. Okay. It also might determine on... Oh, dude, hold up. Does it determine... Hold on, where is that one at? Is it this as well? From surface objects. Technically, those are surface objects, right? Technically? Technically, they're surface objects because it's counting as mining. I mean, if if I can mine in space and not have to mine on a planet, I mean, I'll freaking do it. I don't mind. <laughs> I don't mind one bit at all. Iridium. I kind of need like all of this stuff, so. So hold on, let me go back and read that again. Get more rare inorganic resources from surface objects. And I'm technically mining. Newly discovered minerals mined from alien planets and moons have directly led to some incredible technological advancements. So, uh, I mean, maybe I won't get more. I mean, I don't know. Hey dad, wanna hear a joke? Uh, sure, sweet pea. The old man can always use a laugh. Okay. Who can jump higher than a skyscraper in New Atlantis? Um, I don't know. Who? Everybody! Skyscrapers can't jump! <laughs> nah, not funny. <laughs> okay. Good one, Cora. That was not funny at all, hey, I'm sorry. Next time you see Barrett, try it out on him. Okay, so how heavy is my ship now? I mean, okay. Spaceship debris? Anonymous? No, Autonomous. Okay. We're going here. And with that, I am going to put cut in the video. If you all enjoyed this video, feel free to subscribe, like, and hit the bell for more. And I will see all of you next time. Have a wonderful day.